All right, to help out a little bit, I was going to do a video here on some continuity. And again, this is some of the problems I recommended to you in class. So I'm going to show the, show the scratch pad. And what we have to realize here is that for continuity to happen, the limit at all these possible points of discontinuity has to be equal on the left hand and the right hand side. So I'm going to start at negative 1, the first possible place that it can happen. Okay. So I know the limit as I come from the left hand side, which is here, bx minus 4, has to be equal to the limit on the right hand side for this to be continuous. Alright. Now also I know that these two functions have to be have the same output. So what happens here is I'm going to end up with a bunch of equations and a bunch of unknowns and my mouse skills are not real good here on the board, but it means that this has to be equivalent to this when x is equivalent to negative 1. And since this is a polynomial over here, and this is a line, we can simply plug it in and say negative, I gotta do it up here, negative b x, oh, I can, negative b, because I plugged in negative 1 for x, minus 4, has to be equal. If you square negative 1, you get 1, so it's just a plus b. All right, so there's one equation with two unknowns. Well, we got to check the other one, and we're going to skip all the limit stuff this time. If I plug in 2 for x, I can write 4, 2 squared is 4, so 4a b, a plus b has to equal, I plug in 2, I get 2a plus 1. So a little bit of math here, I can uh, take the top equation, and if I uh, pause here, I'll try to erase some of the bottom, well, I guess I'm not going to erase it, I'm not sure how to, so I'll scratch it out. Alright, so I have these two equations, two unknowns. The top equation I think becomes negative 4 equals 2a, or a plus 2b. And the bottom equation, if I move 2a to the other side, I get... 2a plus b equals positive 1. Again, a bunch of ways to do this. I'm going to multiply the top by negative 2 and get 8 equals negative 2a minus 4b. And the bottom is still 1 equals 2a plus b. So if I add these up, I get negative 3b equals 9, so b is negative 3. So I'll put that in right now, negative 3. If I come over to one of these equations here, I find that a is going to come out to be 2. If I check my answer, and it's correct. So again, they're just asking you to find where these values here to make it continuous. So this one's not so hard. mx plus b has to equal 5 at 2, this side. And x squared minus 7 has to equal mx plus b at negative 2. Two equations, two unknowns. Keep practicing. See if that helps you.